Hello, I'm Evo Bluestein, and this little video is about Cajun style button accordion. There's a few things you might want to know if you're thinking about starting button accordion. <clears throat> the accordions are made in a particular key. This is the one row button accordion, and, and like harmonicas, they're made in, in a particular key. This one is a D accordion. And if the fiddles are tuned up to standard pitch, you can play in D and other keys that I will tell you about. But often in Cajun music, the fiddles will tune down a whole step. That allows them to sing in a lower uh, pitch and still allow the fiddlers to play in the D and A position. But we're not here to talk about the fiddlers right now. So um, that's a common choice, a D accordion or a C accordion, and if you really get into it, you might want to have both, so you're prepared for whatever uh, f tuning the fiddler is in. Um, so this is my C accordion, and uh, so it's, it's uh, very close to a harmonica uh, arrangement on the push-pull system uh, for the melody, and then on this side you have two buttons, kind of umpa bass with a, a bass note and chord. Uh, one chord on the push is the uh, the uh, one chord or the the tonic chord, the key that the accordion was made to be played in. So if this is a C accordion, this will be a C chord on the push. And if you're in 4-4 four, four time signature, four beats per measure, you're going to have a rhythm like this with your left hand, pinky, pointer. But on the pull, you have what we call the five chord, or a G chord in this case. So C and G. C on the push. The key of the accordion was made to be played in. And the G on the pull. So with only two chords, there's a lot of music that has more than two chords. So when there's an accordion in the band, you often have a kind of dissonance or a weird sound that you wouldn't have if there was just fiddles and guitars. Um, so it's kind of like if you're playing the wrong chord, it, it's kind of like just percussion. You don't listen too closely to that left side. It's just kind of rhythm uh, to keep time. But uh, if you played a simple tune in the key of C, um, that has just C and G chords, it sounds pretty good, like uh, Colinda. So there's a, a little tune that's in the key of C, um, so it sounds pretty good with the left chords C and G. Um, I'm just giving you a little sample of things. The details, how to do this stuff, are on my DVD. I have a few actual DVD copies left if you go to evobluestein.com. Uh, also, very convenient uh, for people who rather have a download, the entire series of lessons is available as downloads for the C button accordion. And... <clears throat> The next cool thing you ought to know is that when we play cross key, like the way harmonica players uh, play blues, you don't play in the key that it says on the harmonica. You play what we call cross key. So if you're going to play uh, maybe the second position, uh, th that would be the key of G. So that means on the left hand side, you have uh, the one chord on the pull, the, 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 the key that the song is in is no longer on the push, it's on the pull. Remember, that's where the G chord is. And on the push, of course, you have that C chord. It used to be the one chord, but now it's the four chord. So that means if you need the five chord, it's just gonna be a little dissonant. It's gonna sound a little weird if you need a D chord. So uh, take, for example, J'ai uh, tes bal. I went to the dance last night. J'ai tes bal hier soir. So I was on a G chord on the pull, but that last note is on a push. 
and that's dictated by the melody notes over here. Um, you got to do a push to get the melody note, which means you have the wrong chord over here. So um, you need to, it's good to know what the chords really are because you're often not playing the right ones in the left hand because you don't have them. So you let the melody dictate. So J.T. Zoba. <laughs> That's, you know, how it sounds and looks to play in the key of G. Um, and then there's other keys we can play in as well on this one row button accordion. You get a certain mode or kind of scale that's different than a, a, a major scale and it's good for bluesy things. Like the key of D, for example, on a C accordion, you might call that the second uh, uh, note of the C scale is a D. So... Um, we might sometimes we call it the third position. And here, if you play in the key of D, those left hand buttons <clears throat> uh, have a lot of dissonance. It's more of a um, percussion uh, to keep your time. And uh, you get used to it. It sounds pretty good, actually. But at first, it might sound a little dissonant. So if you take uh, Baby Please Don't Go in the Cajun version in, in the key of D, styles and tunes are on this uh, Cajun and Zydeco DVD that you can order at evobluesteam.com.